Hello everyone, this is Noble H1 Stack, and today we are here with another main association of math leagues problem. Trigonometric equations and identities, March 2015, meet 5, round 2, problem 3. So here is the actual round that you would see in competition. Easiest to hardest, all three problems. And if you want, um, in the actual competition, you get 12 minutes. So see if you can solve all three problems within 12 minutes. So, we are solving problem 3 today, and what is the value of the sum cosine pi over 6 plus cosine pi over 3 plus cosine pi over 2, all the way up to 2017 pi over 6? So the first thing we want to figure out is what is the pattern between these terms. Whenever I see pi over 6, pi over 3, pi over 2, you automatically should recognize that that's a difference of pi over 6 between each term. I don't think that's really obvious, but that's just something that you see in math competitions again and again. So pi over 3 is 2 pi over 6, and pi over 2 is 3 pi over 6, so we're adding by pi over 6 to each argument each with each new term. So pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, all the way up until 2017 pi over 6. So we want to figure out how this sequence, like, repeats, because we have 2017 different terms in the sequence, and we can't figure out all of those 2017 terms. So to do this, we use the period of cosine. Cosine of x equals cosine of x plus 2 pi. That means the terms will repeat when we add 2 pi to each argument. Since we're adding by pi over 6 each time, this happens after we add 12 pi over 6, since 12 pi over 6 equals 2 pi. So we repeat 12 terms, every 12 terms. Okay, so one cycle in this sequence is the sum of the first 12 terms. So cosine pi over 6 plus cosine 2 pi over 6, all the way up to cosine 12 pi over 6. This is still a lot. We've gotten it down from 2017 to 12, but it's still 12 terms is still a lot. So now we're going to use another pattern. You see, after 6 terms, the argument increases by pi. And there's another identity with cosine that involves adding the argument by pi. Cosine of x plus cosine of x plus pi equals 0. So that means when you add pi to an argument, and then you add that with the original, it cancels out to 0. So we can regroup the terms into terms with an argument's difference of pi. So pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. 2 pi over 6 and 8 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6 and 9 pi over 6, and then we regroup all of the terms in such a way. This gives us, well, th since each group cancels out to 0, we have 6 groups, and that means we have 6 zeros, and anything times 0 is 0, so we just get 0. So the sum of the first 12 terms, the sum of one cycle, is 0. So when does the last cycle end? So we know that one cycle ends at 12 pi over 6, and then the next cycle would end at another 12 terms, so that would be 24 pi over 6, and another cycle end would after another 12 terms, so 36 pi over 6. So they all end at multiples of 12. However, our sequence ends at 2017 pi over 6, which is not a multiple of 12. So we need to find the least multiple of 12 less than 2017. If we divide 2017 by 12, you should get a remainder of 1. So that means subtract 2017 by the remainder, and we get a multiple of 12. So 2016 pi over 6 is when the last cycle should end, since 2016 is the least multiple of 12 less than 2017. Also, each time a cycle ends, the sum leading up to that end is 0. So the sum from cosine pi over 6 to 12 pi over 6 is 0, since we just went through no one cycle. From cosine pi over 6 to 24 pi over 6, that's also 0, since we just went through two cycles, and that means we have two zeros. Cosine pi over 6 to cosine 36 pi over 6, that's th three cycles, three zeros, and that's still a cumulative sum of 0. 
So up until 2016 pi over 6, the pattern continues, and cosine pi over 6 plus cosine 2 pi over 6 plus cosine 3 pi over 6 all the way up to cosine 2016 pi over 6 is 0. Okay, so hopefully, after a bit of thought, you should understand that now. So all of this is 0, but we want to figure out cosine 2017 pi over 6. So all of this is 0, that cancels out, and we're just left with cosine 2017 pi over 6. So we just need to figure out this one term. We've gotten it down from 2017 terms to the first 2016 terms cancels out to 0, and we just have to calculate the last term. So this is really convenient. Um... Cosine 2017 pi over 6, since it just came after the end of the old cycle, which was 2016 pi over 6, this is the first term in a new cycle. That means that it's the same as the first term in the original cycle, which was cosine pi over 6. So 2017 pi over 6 and pi over 6 are the same angle, since they have a difference of 2016 pi over 6, which is a multiple of 2 pi. So that means cosine 2017 pi over 6 and cosine pi over 6, they're both the first term in the cycle, and they're both the same angle since they have a difference of 2 pi. So they're both equal to each other. Okay? And finally, cosine pi over 6 is radical 3 over 2. And that is our answer. Radical 3 over 2. And that's it. So hopefully... You liked this problem. I thought that this was a really interesting problem because it's basically the sum of a sequence that repeats itself over time. Um, there's sums of arithmetic sequences and sums of geometric sequences and sums of infinite geometric sequ series in MAML, but um, I think that this problem is really unique just because it's the sum of cosines and it the sequence repeats itself. It's not like an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence. It's a repeating sequence that has a partial sum of zero. And then all of the zeros cancel out, and we're just left with one term at the end, which I think is really cool. So hopefully, you've learned a new technique in how to identify patterns and how s sequences with chig and nometric terms can repeat. And hopefully, you'll be able to use that these patterns with cosines to be able to solve new sums and solve other problems like this. So I really hope this helped and I really hope you enjoyed this problem. I know I did. So have fun doing math.